This is the study of geography and these are the branches of geography. Physical geography, human geography and practical geography. These are among the few topics that we look at when we study geography. We look at industrialization, we look at forestry, we look at tea plantations, maize plantations, brick making industry among many many others. Press the subscribe button so that you can get our notifications. We are very glad that you found time to join us. Hello learners, we are in uh, Form 2 work, Lesson 5 and we are talking about folding and we want to start by defining the term folding. Folding means the bending of the crustal rocks. Actually, it is the bending of the young crustal rocks. Uh, in Form 1, we classified rocks and we said we have the old rocks and the young rocks. We have basement rocks, we have uh, sedimentary rocks, among uh, those uh, and the metamorphic rocks. And so uh, the sedimentary rocks have their own characteristics. They are laid down in layers and they are young and uh, very plastic. And so when they are subjected to intense pressure, compression or pressure, um, they may bend or sometimes if they have hardened enough, they may break. Now, when these rocks bend, they form uh, up folds and down folds. Now the up folds, uh, the part that is folded upwards is what forms the, uh, the up fold. We call it an anticline. And the part that is folded downwards, we call it a syncline. Now, um, and so this one takes us to the naming of the parts of a fold. Uh, what are the parts of a fold? A fold includes the part that is folded upwards and the part that is folded downwards. So it includes the anticline and the syncline. The anticline, uh, if the topmost part of the anticline is referred to as a uh, a crest. The bottommost part of a, a syncline is called a trough. Then we have an axis, which is the part, the central, the central line that is uh, dividing uh, a, just, uh, a syncline or an anticline. This central line is uh, the line, the central line from which the layers of the rocks either dip or slope as in the case of an anticline, or they rise, as in the case of a syncline, the central line from which the layers of the rocks rise upwards, if it is from the downfold, or the slope from up downwards, if it is in the case of an anticline. Um, then we have another part that we call the limb. The limb is now the layers of the rock which are found on either side of the axis. Correct. Let us look at the process that is involved in the folding of uh, land or the folding of rocks. That is the formation of a fold. What are the process? Well, what is this process that is involved? Uh, initially, we assumed the land was flat and very stable. But later on, the land was subjected to compression of forces. Those are the earth movements, uh, the forces which are moving towards each other. And uh, these forces, they cause a lot of pressure and a lot of, um, uh, yes, a lot of pressure on these rocks, causing the rocks to bend upwards and uh, downwards, forming uh, anticlines and synclines. Further, uh, compressing or further pushing of the forces towards each other like that on the rocks, on the young rocks, because uh, bed, uh, folding is the bending of young crustal rocks, uh, continued uh, pushing of these rocks towards each other, yes, uh, will lead to uh, pronounced synclines. A formation of a very large uh, 
hollows or depressions. This large depression now uh, is what we call a geosyncline. So that is the first step that the land was subjected to compression of forces. Then uh, continued forces uh, leads to the formation of anticlines and synclines, which enlarges to form a very large depression that we call a geosyncline. Good. Now the geosyncline then, number two, is uh, uh, now exposed to denudation processes, that is weathering, um, erosion, uh, transportation, deposition of material on the earth surface. So these materials when they get broken down and they are either swept by water or wind or ice, these materials, they, these materials may be deposited in this depression which is carrying water and uh, in a form of a sea or an ocean. So these materials, they get deposited there and they fill the geosyncline with sediments. And um, they are hardened with time to form uh, rocks. Now when these rocks later get subjected to further compression of forces, they may then lead to the formation of new folds and new anticlines and synclines. So the formation of new folds. We are talking about uh, the, the process that is uh, um, involved in the formation of a fold. Flat land is subjected to compression of forces. The land forms a large depression called a geosyncline. The geosyncline number two is then filled with water and sediments. Then number three, the sediments in uh, the geosyncline are subjected to compression of forces to form folds. That is the process that is involved. And um, uh, these uh, forces which are compression of forces may be working on land on either side which is being pushed towards each other or they may be working on some land that is relatively fast moving land against a relatively static a block of land like in the case of africa and europe europe is rather uh, static uh, it moves it drags itself much uh, slower than Africa. So because Africa is moving very fast, it's being pushed against Africa and uh, I mean against uh, Europe, sorry, in the north, then we have Africa as the backland and Europe as the foreland. That is in the case where all the land is being pushed towards the same direction. And uh, one of one block of the land is moving rather faster than the other part of the land which is in front of it. So we have the back land and the foreland. But uh, in some cases we have the two lands are being moved, pushed from either side and they form that geosyncline. The geosyncline gets filled with the materials. Then the materials are further subjected to the tension of forces to form the anticline sand synclines and with that uh, we have come to the end of our lesson thank you continue watching this youtube channel where you will get more similar content to help you during your study in high school and kindly share so that your friends can get the same kind of content and be helped in their study as well thank you have a nice time